I'm Keith Waymeyer. I'm the general manager of the IPTV segment in the digital home. Uh, there's a lot new at the show for Intel today. Um, I, I think the biggest message that I would say is smart TV has arrived. You, you look at the products that we're, we're displaying today, both retail and service provider, things like Boxy, CuboVision, uh, and, and, a, and a wealth of new other products that are launching. We launched nine products in 2010. We're going to see more products coming in, in 2011 as we continue to scale out the Smart TV initiative. But it really is the coming out party for the digital home group and Smart TV. I, I think our success can kind of be told in the story of the three pillars of Smart TV. When you look at it, uh, if, if maybe we go through the whole thing. If, if you look at the, um, the first pillar, and that's being able to deal with unlimited content from the Internet. I think service providers and, and frankly, uh, OEM building retail products understand that Intel powers the Internet, that most of what gets run, the application frameworks, the codecs, all of those kinds of things run on Intel architecture best for the Internet. So we're well established in that part of Smart TV. The next part is, is having a robust application framework and an application um, platform so that you can extend uh, what a set-top box does, what a retail product does through new applications. And there's a lot of parts to that. You have to have a very robust developer community and a developer framework. You have to have a distribution mechanism. But then, more importantly, at least in the service provider space, you have to have a secure platform. And that's been the new area where we've spent a lot of time consulting with service providers because they need to understand how we're going to protect that content, that pay TV content, from applications that either inadvertently or maliciously go after that content. So that whole security framework is a new and growing area for us. And then the third pillar is the whole idea of the immersive user experience. And there we have a real asset. The, the interactions and experience research team has been able to, to help with that. They've driven collaborative user interface programs with people like France Telecom and, and others to deliver very innovative user interfaces. They do ethnographic work that they can then come back and we can share with service providers about how people interact with their television sets, what their expectations are, and they project out into the future to give us an idea of the kinds of usage models that, that you might envision five years, ten years from now. In fact, Brian David Johnson's written a book on the subject. So being able to go in with a service provider and engage with them everywhere from exposing them to the ethnographic research all the way to collaborating on a design and doing a full-up prototype and usability testing, it's a real asset for us. Well, next year for Smart TV, I think it's just going to be all about scale. It's going to be, you know, that nine launches that we have, maybe there's another 10, 15 launches this year and then even more next year. And for us, it's going to be about building the capability to scale, building a very robust ecosystem that people can rely on, being able to uh, have a, a number of OEM partners who will go off and, and expand that and amplify that smart TV vision and being nimble enough that I, I think smart TV is going to evolve in ways that we hadn't anticipated and we're going to have to be prepared to be able to deal with that.